Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching Enigma. So today we're going to move on towards March horoscopes and we're going to start with my sign which is Scorpio. Let us see what are the messages for you. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in uh, Scorpio. This is going to be a general reading take however this resonates for personal readings are more accurate so you can book me on WhatsApp or Instagram me. Details will be in the description box below. Follow me on Instagram for upcoming March horoscopes and short readings, pick a cards, daily fortune and much more. Okay. <clears throat> Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon if you're new here. By the way, I also have my Hindi channel which is with the name Enigma in Mix. You can go and subscribe to me there. So, how are scorpions? Scorpions are pretty, pretty, pretty secretive and it takes a lot of time and effort for them to trust a person. And But once scorpions trust a person, they're fully, fully, fully loyal. Let us see what are the messages for scorpions for March. This is going to be for overall March. Okay, general stuff happening. Oh, Someone is thinking a lot about you, Aries person, mature person, or someone who wants to smother you, someone who wants to, you know, uh, take care of you, okay, from a different world, from a different background, culture, altogether very different upbringing from you. This person is holding themselves back, maybe you blocked them. So this is the one that wants to come back into your life. They're thinking a lot about you. I feel like they're all in their head about you, but they're not thinking very positive because you may have said something that hurt them. This, is, this person is taking a lot of stress. I feel like this person feels bounded and is not able to reach out to you, maybe because you blocked them. They're having sleepless nights and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries. Oh my God, this person is thinking a lot about you. I feel like this person feels like they messed it all up and now they want to, now they're regretting or they're maybe thinking like, I'm blocked. Now what? I can't do anything. Okay, let's see why someone who is uh, a very new to things, very naive or very innocent person or who doesn't know much about things or who's a kind of a rebel who likes to do things, you know, whenever you feel like you're like a... Uh, risky you like to take risky step in life you know that's how they feel you are i feel they see you as a very strong person they feel strongly connected with you they want to take this step again towards you okay this could be someone from the past or a recent past leo energy they feel like you've left them a lot uh, you've gone along um you've gone away from them. That's how they feel like you've become very distant and uh, you moved on and something like that. And now you're being very courageous. Some of you have pets here. So because I see a lot of animals over here, okay, some of you have a big control over, you know, some of you are very courageous and they love nature and very pet loving or nature loving kind of person, very strong, independent. I see you as a very strong, independent person. Sometimes this person or people feel like you don't need anyone because you're too independent. But though deep inside, only you know, Scorpions know that they do need a partner as well. They see you as someone who left them out in the cold or who broke their heart or they broke your heart and now they're feeling regret. They're feeling like you've moved on, you've forgotten them and they feel hurt. Okay, they feel like they hurt you or they feel hurt. I feel like they're feeling burdened uh, with this thing and they're not able to take the fact that they've hurt you or they got hurt. Okay, somehow they're feeling very, very burdened, heavy on their shoulders and they really want to revive this thing up. They feel like they messed it all up and now they're in two minds. Okay, now they're in two minds. They really want to come back towards you. They feel like um, they're trying to heal themselves from whatever happened recently. They're feeling hurt and they feel like you may have got someone new. So you rejected them or you moved on. You forgot whatever happened. You forgave them. But this person is still wanting to reconnect because this person is trying to heal themselves. They feel like you bring happiness in their life. They realize that you're the one that brings happiness and excitement in their life. This could be a Leo, strong Leo person. It could be in their moon, rising, Venus, if not sun. This person sees excitement when they see you. They see a, you know, a ray of sunshine when they talk to you, when they think about you. They feel like there's a hope with you, you know. And they feel like they get excited. So I feel like this person is uh, watching you uh, secretly and you may not know that. And they may try to manifest you deep inside. They really want you back, okay. 
<clears throat> I do see them coming back again with the wheel of fortune things are going to turn around again this person's gonna come towards you but I'm not pretty sure that they're going to stay stable or not this gonna go may go up and down may not may stay stable but i do see this person having a lot of lot of passion for you aries sagittarius leo they have a huge crush over you passion over you they realized it or they will realize it sooner or later but they'll first of all i see in the beginning they'll try to ignore okay they'll try to ignore and control their emotions they act all distant with you they'll not try to reconnect with you they won't try to connect they'll act all mean and selfish and poker face but uh, the they'll keep thinking about you in their mind a lot okay they want a new beginning and i feel they'll come towards you after proper healing they're gonna take a lot of time maybe maybe seven days seven weeks but they're gonna you know wait before opening up fully to you this could be strong libra gemini aquarius aries sagittarius leo okay I feel like they've never had anyone better than you. That's how they've realized it this time. Okay, there's a lot of passion. They have excitement. They get excited when, when they see you, when they talk to you, when they're around you. So they miss that excitement. They feel like you're a kind of a person who deserves love. And they've decided that they want to give you the love. And they will decide because they see you as a person worthy of trust. Maybe they didn't see that before, but they will realize the situation is turning out in such a way that they're developing strong romantic feelings towards you. This person will see you worthy of trust. This person will see you worthy of love. And they will definitely come towards you. I feel like you are not the one who will reach out they may reach out to you maybe this person uh, despite of having romantic feelings feel like you're not or they're not your league okay they feel like uh, you're above their league they don't deserve you you deserve someone better that's how they see you or that's how they will see you that is why they're going to take a lot of time and to protect their heart from rejection and they may act super cold and you may feel like why this person is behaving this way i do see like this person's gonna wait a long long time before they make a move towards you because for a long time they'll see like this connection is not possible because you're way beyond their expectations i do see this person may have some financial issues or trouble because of which this person is having hard time focusing on love okay but definitely this person somehow, somehow I feel, even though they feel like this connection is not possible to happen, they'll still try to express their feelings. Okay. A year from now. I see this happening in this year only. Okay. This is 2021 and this is the beginning of the year. So wait, because you're, whoever you're thinking about right now, Things are going to turn or mature slowly with this person in this whole year. It could be the end of the year or the mid of the year. They may come towards you with forgiveness. They may ask you to forgive them. Okay. I see they did something wrong and you left them and now they'll come and communicate clearly what bothered them. Or they'll ask for your, uh, you know, they'll, they'll try to clear the air with you soon okay that's the thing perfect time i feel like this is not the right time and they may have been going through some lessons after then they're gonna come towards you at the perfect time and let you know what's going on with them ask the angels angels are giving you messages from time to time something negative is happening with you when you think about this person it's because you they're not the one for you or currently they're not meant to be in your life so when uh, the person will come towards you're going to get the positive messages positive vibrations around you you realize that yes maybe this there's a potential over here right now right now you really need to let go of a situation that you're holding on to if you don't let go of a situation the person won't come back because there are some blockages maybe the third person is blocking this connection or maybe the <clears throat> aura around you or the situation right now with them or with you is uh, making this connection to happen difficult and i feel like this you feel like this is gonna happen again and again some of you this person's 37 you're 37 45 you know like that in those age gap but um 
nevertheless i feel like this person feels like things are going the same way all the time all the time all the time they're not able to understand which way to go so give them some time because this person will realize what they're losing what they need to get or grab i feel this could be a same story with you you always end up following the same pattern again and again so you need to give yourself some time and get back to the usual life and focus on yourself stay poised don't beg for anything don't beg for love don't beg for people to stay in your life all the one who's meant to stay in your life will stay in your life and work on yourself try to enhance your looks and work on your body and i feel your body should be your temple it should be your first priority and let others follow you on their own i feel like this is going to change a lot of things in your life so a lot of things are going to change in your life so you just need to give yourself some time follow some self-love right now i see like as a tarot reader i started off as self-love self-love and i see every tarot reader started saying self-love self-love so self-love is really 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 important it's really gonna turn the energy around a new romantic cycle begins i feel like with the same person for most of you for some of you could be a new person but however there's going to be a new beginning where there's gonna be a lot of balance and exchange of communication thoughts there's going to be a lot of balance in everything you guys share and i feel like there will be a new energy to the connection to the love you're seeking okay and this could be a Libra with a new moon. I feel there's going to be a happy start with a person that's going to be extremely passionate and caring towards you, loving towards you. you know, they're going to do everything to express their feelings. Right now, there are blockages, a lot of blockages, a lot of fork in the road. I feel the person doesn't feel very comfortable seeking you. Um, although the person that you're currently dealing with could be Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, this person sees you as a wish come true. But then there are some differences between you guys, maybe opinion differences there. However, this person is not going to stop stalking you. They're going to watch you every move. They're going to see what's going on into your life. I feel like they're going to they're gonna observe you more and more. And then they're going to be like, um, you know, contemplate what to do, what's right, what's not right. They're going to be in two minds for a long, long time until they make a final decision to reach out to you. This could be an Aquarius. This could be... A strong Aquarius, I see. Could be any sign for that matter. This person is going to revive this connection. There's a reconciliation with the star card happening. I feel this person sees you as someone who is beyond expectations, star, but there's, they also fear rejection. It's not you. They do fear rejection. So that's the reading for you, Scorpions. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you did, do not forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon, share a release, five of your friends. Till we see you next time. Bye.